Hey everybody, now that you've seen the bus being painted, we have one more video to show you of the demo process before we start building everything out. We really could have made this two videos, but decided to shorten it down and combine it into one video. First, we removed the rust on the floor, the little bit of rust that was there so we can treat the floor. And second, we removed all the ceiling panels and the wall panels so we can put new insulation in. What we'll do is we'll cut in some footage of us actually doing it, and then we'll give you a walk through the inside and show you what it looks like completely demoed. So let's take a look at that footage. Hey guys, today on the bus build, we're going to be trying to grind the rust up off the floor. There's not too much of it that's bad. There is some areas that's flaky. Try to use a grinder and a pad to get all the flakiness off so we can get that swept up and then we can seal the floor. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Let's see what happens. Got safety first. Goggles, gloves, mask. And I have a fan blowing to kind of keep the dust moving out the back. I have windows open back there, so it'll help even more. Let's get going. Next, the first thing I'm gonna do, there's some screws left in the floor. Instead of cutting them off with a grinding wheel, I'm gonna try to actually twist them out. See if I can get out without cutting off. So the rust on the floor, it wasn't too bad. Um, there was some spots where it was flaky. What I did was I took a grinder and I put an abrasive wheel on it that's made for rust and paint removal. And I just went across the floor, focusing on areas where there was flaky rust before I put the preventative coating on. I have to switch out the wheel. This abrasive wheel <coughs> is uh, pretty much shot. Didn't last as long as I thought they would. Might have to come up with a different solution. It was actually really satisfying though, cleaning up all the rust dust. After that was done, me and the boys got to work on removing the ceiling panels and the insulation in the ceiling. 
Today we're moving the roof panels from our bus. So I'm putting new insulation in. They're all they're all screwed in. There's a few screws left holding them in until we pop them down. And then at the bottom, there is whatever this stuff is. It's super strong adhesive. We have to, we have to get in there with a claw hammer and just pop it off all the way. Um, I tried a heat gun and the heat gun's not working either. It's some of the screws we had to heat up too to get the screws out because that stuff was so strong, but removing the ceiling tiles so we can get new insulation in. Now this step was really important to me because even though everything looks okay on the outside and you don't notice any leaks or it doesn't look like there's any leaks, until you actually get in there and look at the insulation, you really don't know. So we got in here and took all the panels down, ripped all the insulation out, and we didn't see any instances where it's ever leaked. Insulation looked in good condition, but we're gonna replace it anyway. Insulation has been up there for 20 years, so we ripped it out, gonna put some better quality insulation in there, new insulation, before we put a new ceiling back up. On top of that, we got all the material to reseal the entire roof. So we'll reseal the entire roof, put new insulation up, and it should all be good to go. I am going to rip out all these insulation panels. Got a couple of them down back there. Um, we didn't really notice any mold or any leaks going on, but just gonna replace them anyway, just to put some new insulation up. It's one of the last things we have to do on demo is take those down, take stuff out of the sidewalls. Then it's on to building. taken down now. I'm just gonna go back and any of this loose stuff like this that's up there. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get all that loose stuff down. You know, just stuff like this. I'm just gonna pick all that down. Some of the stuff is stuck to the adhesive. I don't think I can get all that off easily so it's gonna stay. I found out using this broom, it's a lot easier than picking it all up by hand. So I've been going through just knocking it all down with the broom. Let's go in and see what the bus looks like.
It is kind of messy in here. Got some foam board insulation sitting here for the floors. On the floor, we took a grinder with an abrasive wheel and went over all the floor. Some spots like this, they kind of look rough, they're really not. Um, there was only a few places where the rust was real flaky, everything else was mostly surface stuff. So went across the whole floor and just hit it all with a, a grinder to get all that up. We did leave this panel above the driver's seat. That may come down, we're just not sure if we're going to leave that totally looking like a bus or take that out and make it look like the rest of the bus. Then you can see all the panels were down. Insulation in the side walls looks really good. We're not sure if we're gonna rip that out and replace that with new insulation. We just haven't decided on that yet. So this is it. The bus is completely gutted. Everything you guys see from here on out is going to be us putting it back together, building stuff. It took a long while to get here, but we're excited it's done and we're excited to get moving on the rest of the process and share that all with you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really does help us out. If you have any questions about anything we've done so far, leave a comment down below. We'll get back to you. And if you're enjoying this bus build series, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And next time on the bus build, you'll see us start building stuff. And we'll see all of you guys next time.